Do people eat fish heads? With the larger species of fish, you cannot eat the bones. However all the fleshy and cartilage parts can be eaten. Several species of large fish have extremely tasty cheeks, halibut, all species of tuna, and all species of jacks, yellowtail, amberjack, trevallies, etc. To prepare the head and collars of a large fish, it needs to be void of scales and gills. The scales can be scraped off by means of a sharp knife. I use rose bush cutters to remove the gills. Then, I rinse as much blood away from the tissue as I can. To continue the preparation, the head must be divided into cookable portions. Most of the larger fish that I catch rarely exceeds over 60 pounds. So I can normally divide them into halves along the lateral axis, left and right halves. Professional butchers have band saws to divide the portions. I use a heavy, steel machete and hammer, resting the edge against the bone and striking the machete's spine with the hammer, to divide the hard pieces of mass and a sharp scimitar for the softer tissue. Once divided and rinsed, I decide on which method am I going to cook this fish head. Some species of fish, like any of the tuna species, taste better broiled. Some, like halibut and groundfish, ling cod, snapper, and rockfish, taste better in a soup. Salmon, jacks and striped bass are good both ways. Smaller species of fish, pan-sized trout, bluegill, crappie, etc. can just be butterflied or kept whole, then broiled or fried. If preparing for soup, keep the fish including the head, in chunks. The smallest species of fish can be deep-fried, whole, and eaten like french fries. Yum! Update, here's a recipe if anyone wants to try the Filipino dish sinigang. It's deliciously tart while maintaining a mild salmon flavor. Since I'm in the boondocks Filipino word that's used in the English language of the USA, many of the ingredients that I use are not part of the traditional recipe. I wasn't going to post it because it's truly a bastardized version of the original. But then I read a blog from a Filipino chef that basically stated that due globalization, the traditional ingredients are changing too. One medium-sized salmon head split and cleaned, many supermarket chains can order them for you, one half medium-sized onion rough chopped one large tomato rough chopped one medium stock of bok choy split into 4 by 6 inches half a pound of string beans one quarter of a pound of diacon radish skinned and split into one half x 2 by 6 inches one half packet of sinigang soup mix one box of seafood stock, I use kitchen basics veggie oil to cover the bottom of a 5 quarts pot. Heat the oil and brown the onions, then reduce the tomatoes. Next, add the stock and bring to a boil. Add the salmon. Reduce the heat to a slow rolling boil and cook for 10 minutes. Add the the daikon cook for 10 minutes. Add the string beans and cook for another 10 minutes. Add the bok choy and cook for 5 minutes. Here's the important piece, after the bok choy starts to turn translucent, remove the daikon, string beans, and bok choy and set aside. For some reason, the tamarind within the sinigang packet turns the veggies tough. Dot. Dot. I mean yucky tough. As well, the adding the whole packet overpowers the flavors of all the other ingredients. Dot. Dot. Just way too tart. So, add the one half packet to the stock and fish and simmer for 10 minutes. Add your salt and pepper to taste. Turn off the heat and reintroduce the set aside veggies. Head of certain large fishes, usually common carp or chub fish or their kins, are considered delicacy in China and Hong Kong. The taste of a steamed fish head or boiled soup is slippery, smooth, and soft, with little flavor. In some regions of China, Fish head is usually cooked with strong spices, or along with other ingredients like tofu, fermented soybeans, etc. Yep. If you're hungry enough you'll eat everything but the antlers on an animal. Most of the smaller fish, there's not much there to eat. But a head is a prime piece of real estate to start making fish stock from. You need to get to something like a large salmon and larger before you've got much there.